Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to break down the differences between first, first or default, single, and single or default in link. These link methods are commonly used to retrieve elements from collections, but if used incorrectly, they can throw exceptions or lead to unexpected results. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any .NET tutorials. All right, let's get started. Here's the list we'll use for all demonstrations. This is a simple list of integers, perfect for understanding how link methods behave. First up, the first method. This method retrieves the first item in the list that matches a condition. But if there's no match, it throws an exception. Okay, now I'm going to find the first number in the numbers list that's greater than 5. I use first method to scan through our list and grab the first number that satisfies the condition n greater than 5. Then, I print the first number from the list that's greater than 5 directly to the console. Alright, now let's run the application and see what result we get. Here's the output, 6y, because is the first number in the list that's greater than 5. Okay, let's see next what happens if there's no match. I will change the code to n is greater than 9. Alright, now I've updated the code to check for numbers greater than 9. Let's go ahead and run it to see what happens. The code will throw an invalid operation exception. This happens because the first method expects to find at least one element that satisfies the condition you provide. When it doesn't, it throws this exception. That's a key behavior of first method. Next, we have first or default. This method is like, but it's more forgiving. If there's no match, it simply returns the default value for the type. I am going to change first method first or default. Let's run the application and see what happens. You can see the output is 0. Since there's no number greater than 9, it returns the default value, which is for integers. This first or default method is handy when you're not certain a match exists and want to avoid exceptions. Moving on to the single method. This one's strict. It expects exactly one match. If there's no match or more than one match, it throws an exception. All right, let's go ahead and write the code to use the method. This time, we'll look for the number in the numbers list to ensure there's exactly one match. Then, print the single on the console. Let's run the application and see what happens. You can see, the output is 4. Why? Because is the only number in the list that matches the condition. What happens when there are multiple matches? Let's see. All right. Let's modify the condition to check for numbers greater than 4. Let's run the application now and see what happens with this updated condition. You'll get an invalid operation exception because the condition results in multiple matches from the list, specifically 5, 6, 7, and 8. The single method expects exactly one match, so when it finds more than one, it throws an exception. This is a key behavior of single to be aware of while coding. Finally, we have single or default. It's similar to single, but with a touch of flexibility. If there's no match, it returns the default value. However, it still throws an exception if there are multiple matches. I'm going to change the code to use single or default and modify the condition to check for numbers greater than 9. Let's run the code. You can see, the output is 0, the default value for integers. This happens because the condition n greater than 9 doesn't match any numbers in the list. Single or default, instead of throwing an exception like, handles this gracefully by returning the default value for integers. Let's see, what happens if there are multiple matches? I'll update the condition to check for numbers greater than 2. This should match multiple values from the list. Let's run the application and see. Just like single method, this throws an exception because multiple items match the condition. You can use a single or default method when you expect zero or one element, but want an exception if there are multiple. All right, let's do a quick summary and break down when you should use each method. Use first method if you're confident there's at least one match. Use first or default method for safer handling with potentially empty collections. Use single method when you expect exactly one result. Use single or default method when you expect at most one result but want to avoid exceptions for no matches. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which one you use the most. 
Thanks for watching. Happy coding.